What's up? Uh, today I just figured I'd break down my Post Malone type beat that I uploaded yesterday. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. The biggest thing, in my opinion, when you're making a type beat is you want to get the sound selection right. So what I noticed with Post Malone type beats is that they tend, they tend to have guitar and they tend to have ambient pad sounds. So I started off with this ambient pad in Omnisphere. The scale I used is D minor, and the chords I played were six, two, six, four. And technically, I think that this would be the Lydian mode of B flat because the chord progression keeps going back to B flat and it ends with the F major chord, which is the fifth scale degree of the B flat Lydian mode. So I think. I think technically that's what this is. But anyway, the chords I played without any inversions to them, because this kind of looks complicated, what I have on the screen here, is the uh, B flat 7. So that's this. And then uh, E diminished 7. Then back up to B flat 7. And then F major seven, which is this. But here I stacked the chords on top of each other. So I played two instances of the chords and I flipped, uh, I inverted certain notes to get them just to sound the way I wanted. So that's why they look sort of different and all over the place here. And it sounds like this. Okay, so that's the pad. Um, and then what I did was I exported the pad to an audio file because it was, uh, it takes up a lot of CPU usage. So I didn't want that. And I also uh, duplicated it, hard panned it left and right and detuned it slightly to give it a sort of a more full feel. At least I think it sounds a bit more full. So that's what that sounds like. And then I started adding percussion elements. So I added this hat. Oh, okay. So I got that hat there. I got this kick drum. There's a clap. Simple 808 pattern. I have these hats here. One thing I did with the hats that I do sometimes, <clears throat> not all the time, but sometimes, is I, uh, I side-chained the hat to the kick so that it kind of ducks out of the way when the kick hits, and it makes it sound more dynamic as well, I find. Um, makes the hat sound more dynamic without having to mess around with the velocity of each note. So let's see here if I can show this in action. So this is the side chained. So this right here is the kick. The purple is how much volume is reduced 
from the uh, hats. This is what it sounds like without the side chaining. It's a subtle effect, but it's effective, I think. I have this piano pattern. Oh yeah, I have a guitar. Also have a guitar up here that uh, comes in halfway through the verse section to kind of split it up into two separate sections to make it seem like it's progressing. And also I added a vocal chop to this section. It sounds like this. The original unaltered sample, I forget where I got it from. But it sounds like this. Let me see if I can just reset all this. I got it from some acapella of a, of a song somewhere. I forget exactly where. Um, and then the last thing I did was I added this reverse guitar sound. It's really subtle and it's in the background and you probably don't even really notice it in the beat. I know I said that was the last thing, but I don't think actually, I think there was a few more percussion elements. I had this rim. And I had this open hat. And I think that is it. So yeah, that's uh, basically what went into my Post Malone type beat. I've been wanting to make a Post Malone beat for a while, but I just haven't, I just wasn't able to get the sounds prop, like to sound right. So I don't know, I finally did it, but it may not be, you know, the best Post Malone type beat in the world, but I think I, I kind of captured the vibe a little bit.